So this right here is a Japanese PS2. I bought it in Japan a couple of months ago and I've been trying to get it to work ever since. So here's what you can do to make a video game console from Japan or anywhere in the world work anywhere in the world. So my main goal is to play this. This is Taiko. It's a Japanese drumming game. It is the best thing in the world. I, <laughs> I can't explain how good this is. I've got two different copies of this, two different kinds of a game, and I've got this drum set that you drum on. As you can see, it's covered in Japanese writing, and you've got to check that both your console, which is this thing right here, and your game are NTSC J region. That means that this is an official Japanese game, and that this console can play Japanese games. It can only play Japanese games. That's what matters. You can't have a British or an American PS2 to play a Japanese game. The main thing that makes that a faff is power because a Japanese console is designed to take 100 volts and in the UK we've got 230 volts so you need a transformer. <laughs> The other thing that you've got to think about is the little power prongs because this needs a Japanese plug to go into the transformer. So you've got to get the adapter as if you were going traveling. For example, you're taking your phone and plugging it in. You're going to need one of those. You're going to need a travel adapter. If you have a Japanese plug for your console, don't worry about what I just said. The problem is if you have a British plug like I do and then a figure of eight that goes straight into your PS2, you need to change this British plug into a Japanese plug to go into the transformer. The next thing that you gotta worry about is video cables. So as long as you have them for your region, it's fine. Um, so for example, in the UK, we tend to have these little things. Um, and I just bought this cable in Japan for 100 yen. So as long as you have things that you recognize that you can just plug into your TV, it's fine. The issue would be is if you bought one from Japan and it had like S video cables, which is this little round thing that we don't use in the UK, but this cable's pretty standard, so it's fine. If you don't have a video cables you need, just go on eBay, search it, get the cables for your region, it'll work. Now the really tricky part is if you've got something old. So if you've got like, a NES, a SNES, a Super Famicom, whatever they call them in Japan, or you've got like a PS1 maybe, you might need to get a little frequency generator. These things are really confusing. Basically, the aerial output that you have from your console won't work with the aerial input that you have in your country. This is a really old circular thing that you plug into the TV aerial part of your TV. I'm gonna put the name of those things right here. And with that, some TVs work differently than other TVs. For example, if you've got a pre-digital TV, pre-freeview TV, um, like a big old CRT, it might just work. It might just work flawlessly out of the box. So try different TVs. If you're trying to use a big HD TV like this, you might struggle with an aerial input. That should be everything that you need before you start. Now you've just got to plug it all in. Never leave one of these transformers on my carpet. Put it on something wooden. Real quick before I plug this in, this TV, like I said, it's a new TV. So I have to have this SCART adapter. And if you look at it, it's got SCART on this end which is a British thing. And it's got this funny little connector on the other end. A lot of new TVs, you've got to have this little adapter because they don't have these plugs anymore because they're big and old and kind of useless. That's all plugged in. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Okay, that was everything. I'm gonna play my game, it's Taiko, I've got my drums. I'm really hyped about this. I'm unreasonably hyped about this. Anyway, thanks for watching, and you can watch me drum if you want to.